Good day, Cancer, and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha, the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy, and this is your weekly reading for September 11th to the 17th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe Speak. Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Six of Hearts. Joker. Seven of Diamonds. And the Eight of Clubs. Okay, so... Your main card here is compromise. Um, you might be compromising a lot this week with people. Uh, and it's neither good or bad. Uh, it just is what it is, like most compromises are. Uh, you just need to be aware and make sure that you don't get the short end of the stick here. And I'm not saying that this person or people are trying to give you the short end of the stick. They might not really realize that it's the, you know, they're giving the short end of the stick. So don't don't be don't overreact on it because it might be something that they didn't see you know you can just explain it to them you know don't uh don't get upset because they might not have done it on purpose uh, and this can be in love this can be with a with a partner or something which that could be all week you know making compromises with just one person or this can be multiple compromise compromises that you're going to have to make throughout the week and uh, like I said, it's neither good or bad. It just is what it is. Just make sure that you don't get the short end of the stick on it. Uh, at the beginning of the week, uh, looks like you're having thoughts of a past love. Uh, this can this can be an ex, a good friend, or a soulmate, or even a family member. Uh, uh, but either way, it's somebody that you once loved a lot. You might still, you probably still do love them, but something went wrong went wrong back then. Let me take a drink. Something went wrong in the past, which split you up, and now you might have bumped into them or something, or you're thinking about them, or uh, they sent you a text or a call or something, and uh, they're trying to come back into your life. Well, the cards say, no, you need to forget this past. Uh, you need to not repeat it, because the fact of the matter is, is that even if it seems like whatever it was that split you up in the first place is gone now, that things have changed, mm -mm, they haven't. The thing is, is that this could work out for a day, this could work out for a week, a month, even a year. It doesn't matter, it's still going to rotate right back to whatever it is that broke you up in the first place. It's not a, it's not a good thing, so I just would not do this. Uh, wh whoever this is, I wouldn't let them back in your life, you know. Um, because uh, the the same bullshit's still there. It just seem it might just be covered up right now, or if it looks like you know they've changed, they might have changed for everybody else, but they haven't changed for you yet. The same problems are going to come up. Um, that's all there is to it. Uh, in the middle of the week, it looks like you have a positive risk that you can go towards, uh, or that you're moving towards. And this can be new love, this can be a new life, this could be a new place to live, this could be a new job. Either way, it's something that you have to take the plunge on. You know, you have to take the risk. You have to take the leap. You know, it's a leap of faith. It's, it's something that you're not quite aware how it's going to end, but uh, you just need to take the leap. The fact of the matter is, is that it's a positive risk. It will be good. But you have to take the leap. You have to get past your fears and all that stuff. And you got to get past your past. Your past might be holding you back, trying to keep you back here. And that could be this past person that's trying to come back in. They could be trying to hold you back from moving towards this new thing in your life. Uh, but you need to go. It's time. This past is this past is in the past for a reason. You know, uh, you need to move on to something new in your life. The sun's even pointing you forward. It's saying, go, go forward, you know, and this is going to be good. This is going to be a reset on your life. This is going to turn you back into more of an innocent person. And it's going to, you're going to feel innocent when you're going into this, because it's going to be something new. Um, and you're going to feel good about it. It's a good risk. It's a positive risk. Just plan and prepare for it. That's all you got to do. 
But yeah, leave the past behind. Leave the past behind. I can't. I can't say that more. Uh, to leave the past behind because it's here both times. Leave it. Uh, don't don't let it back in. Don't let it hold you back from whatever this new thing is. And um, yeah, you're up for a promotion or a raise uh, at this point in time. Uh, that's what it says here at the end of the week. Um, you're up for a promotion or a raise. So uh, and you might be doing some extra work towards this. You know, and you might be feeling like you're not going to get this promotion or raise, this new abundance. Uh, but the cards say, no, you're, you're doing fine. Keep keep working at it, whatever it is. Keep working at it. And this could be this. This could be what you're going towards, taking the risk. Taking the risk to do more things uh, to get this promotion or raise and feeling like it's just not going to happen. But you're doing great. You're doing the right things to move forward onto this uh, new uh, abundance, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess, you know, there would be a lot of compromise in here. So, yeah, you're probably going to go through a lot of compromising. Uh, just don't get the short end of the stick. Leave the past behind. Anybody from your past, just leave them behind. And you move forward. You move forward to new things in your life, which is going to bring you more abundance. You just keep on working towards that. You just don't stop. Don't let this past make you think that your hard work ain't going to get you this abundance. You go forward and you get that fucking abundance. All right. Let's see what the uh, tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. And that card is the King of Pentacles. Yeah, right now you need a lot of a, a lot of confidence. You need a lot of confidence in yourself. You need to think of yourself as somebody that's already achieved everything that they want, uh, that has everything that they want, but wants more. And go for it. And know that you know that you can go for it. Know that you know that you know how to make more money. You know that's. That's what the King of Pentacles is, is. He's somebody that knows. He knows business. He knows how to make abundance. He knows how to make money. Uh, he knows how to pave his way to success. And this needs to be you. This is who you need to be right now. Uh, uh, not letting this past hold you back. This past might be trying to make you think that you can't have more. But you can have more. Whatever this risk is that you're wanting to take to get this promotion, this raise, this abundance take it because you are the king of pentacles be the king of pentacles have that confidence in yourself to not let this past person screw you up okay so uh i hope this resonated if it did hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe i hope to see you back here next week and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy